Hi, I'm Cheryl Gallant, your Conservative Member of Parliament for the sunny riding of Renfrew Nipissing Pembroke. Uh, food security in Canada is in peril today, and that's going to be the topic of today. Food insecurity. Food insecurity is the fear or reality of not having enough to eat. It, it's not something I ever would have thought possible in a country like Canada for the government currently in Ottawa agriculture has been somewhat forgotten. Just like the rest of rural Canada, the foreign worker program issue it was just the beginning of all this. The worst is yet to come. Farmers need help and they need this help fast. Even before the viral outbreak, agriculture was largely being forgotten in Ottawa. Now, with the semblance of Parliament through a, a virtual platform, Zoom, which is a Chinese Communist Party affiliated company, and incidentally, as a company based in China, the owner of Zoom is required by law to provide the Chinese Communist Party with any data it collects if asked. So together with my fellow Conservatives, uh, I've been pressing the issue of food security, ensuring Canadians have enough food to eat. Our lead MP on agriculture asked the government, quote, what programs, if anything, are you going to be announcing in the near future to address this critical situation with the, within the hog, cattle, and poultry industries? End of quote he was met with silence. It seems almost everyone is receiving a check from Ottawa except for people who put food on your dinner table, our farmers. The only thing farmers are being offered is more debt, the same risk management framework available before the pandemic crisis. The new interest-free loan that's being offered to all businesses who qualify barely cover one month's farm costs, let alone all the other costs associated with farming. Farmers use their personal bank accounts, not necessarily a business account with all the high fees. And the ones who do don't even qualify for the $40,000 loan other businesses can get. And even if the loan was available to those in, in the beginning, it was not available to those that had a um, their bank account through a credit union. So again, together with my colleagues and actually MPs across the country, we got the uh, the minister to allow the credit unions to be a part of this as well. You see, Trudeau wanted the big banks to have all the business. Compared to the $19 billion aid package the United States is providing in aid to U.S. farmers, Canada is not even on the same page. We cannot count on our government to even go after the U.S. for the unfair subsidies the way they slap a tariff on our producers whenever taxpayers try to help farmers through a crisis. The government is openly saying it could be a year before it does anything to restart the Canadian economy. And farmers can't wait that long. Canada is at risk of losing 50% of our farms by the year end if something is not done now. Action needs to be taken now. The beef industry went into this crisis with a, a significant backlight already due to, to the shortage of Canadian processing plants. Plants are closing due to the costs of, of all the regulations being heaped on them. This means farmers are forced to keep thousands of cattle uh, longer on the feedlots, increasing their costs. Seven of the processing plants still in Canada have been shut down to, due to COVID-19 outbreaks among the workers. More are expected. The crisis in the hog industry is even worse. The delay in processing has created unmanageable backlogs. Farmers are being forced to dispose of thousands of pigs they can't afford to keep feeding. 
The slowdown in production means there's little or no wiggle room at the farm gate. Planting season has already arrived for farmers and many farmers don't have workers to fill their labor needs. The federal government is letting dairy farmers down too. The new North American free trade deal is kicking in. More American dairy products are flowing in. This means millions of dollars of losses for our dairy farmers. They are your neighbors your customers, our family, our community. Conservatives agreed to go ahead with a trade deal on one condition. The new deal would not come into force until August 1st, 2020. This date marks the beginning of the dairy calendar year and had this date been respected, it would have allowed the dairy industry to save about $100 million. And even before COVID-19, the Dairy Processors Association of Canada estimated the early signing represents $100 million in additional losses to the Canadian dairy industry in the year 2021. Long term, it means annual losses for dairy farmers of $190 million. It means $140 million for dairies as well as $50 million for the losses to the industry due to the export caps put on skim milk powder, milk protein, and, and concentrates, and infant formula. Farmers are being forced to dump milk because less is allowed to be made in Canada. And some of us have seen empty shelves at the grocery stores where the dairy products are supposed to be. Now people are just horrified at the sight of dairy farmers being forced to dump thousands of liters of milk because they just can't get it to market. Farmers need some assurance that they can grow and pl plant their crops this spring as well. They need to know they can send their livestock or other products like milk to market. They need to know the COVID type stressors have been recognized and will be compensated for. Farmers can't wait for things to roll out at normal government speed. They need action now. Agriculture is the foundation of our entire economy. Farmers feed cities. For the most part through this crisis, farmers have been largely forgotten. We need farmers. Now, farmers need us. Go to Cheryl Gallant or Cheryl.Gallant.com and sign the letter to the agricultural minister so can Canadians can continue to put enough food on their tables. This is Cheryl Gallant, live from Pembroke. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and have a good night.